Hi! <coughs> per usual, we're going to give it a minute to let people show up. <coughs> mm. So, it's going to be level one again, um, and we're going to be doing some similar movements to what we've done the past couple weeks. So, if you've been following along, there's going to be familiarity there. Um, if your first time here, then no stress about that. Um, what I do want to say, though, is when you're practicing yoga, and it's whether you're doing this with me now, if you're doing it over the course of your life, it's whatever skill level you're at, um, there's going to be progress. And so you might see things that, like last week, you had some challenges with, and then this week, it's going to be, you're, you're going to stick it, you're going to nail it. Um, and that's awesome, and you should really be excited and celebrate that. You might also find that sometimes things that you did perfectly last week, this week you might have some challenges with. Your body's just in a different place. Your head is in a different place. And that's okay too. If it's not perfect or if it's not the exact same every, every single time, then welcome to being a human. Um, it will constantly shift with you um, depending upon how you feel. And you might feel terrible and have a great class. You might feel great and have a terrible class. There's no really rhyme or reason, but just kind of roll with it and take this opportunity to um, get some feedback from your body and you'll learn a lot about yourself beyond just moving on the mat. You're going to learn how your body um, reacts to stress. You're going to learn how your body reacts to when you're taking good care of it and when you're not. Um, it might not all come together all at once, but that's why it's a practice. We do this over time. Um, Hi, I'm shock. Hi, Joy. Mwah. Um, my pleasure. Absolutely. Bring this with me. It's keeping me off the couch. <gasps> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start. Um, so you're probably already on your mats. I'm going to get on my mat and I'm going to ask everybody to lie on their back and just find their most comfortable lying on your back position. And so that could mean that you are lying on your back with your knees bent and you can let them fall together to let your lower back release. You could have your knees bent but the soles of the feet to come together and your knees fall out to get a little bit more into your hips. Um, or you can have nice straight legs. Just kind of find what feels right. But, and you can change your mind. <laughs> You're allowed to change your mind. But just go ahead and close your eyes. Maybe get those shoulders under you and let the head drop back heavy on the mat and just start breathing and paying attention to your breath. So listening to the sound it makes as it comes in through your nose and touches the back of your throat. And then as you exhale, feel in the back of the throat again and then back out the nose. Inhale, feel the belly lift, feel the ribs expand as the lungs fill. Exhale, as the lungs collapse, the belly drops. And so just try to stretch that breath here, inhaling and exhaling, slowing it down, changing gears. And then take two more breaths like this. My breath's not yours, mine might be a little bit slower <laughs> or faster. All right, now we're gonna inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath at the top, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Good, and then you can just start to bend your knees if they're not already bent, and you can just slowly hug those knees to your chest. And you can just use the weight of your arms to draw the knees to your chest. So I'm assuming you're still cold, unless you've been outside in Florida. It's like 95 degrees out there today. So you might be a little bit warmer. You might be able to pull yourself a little bit tighter. Just kind of use that weight. And you can rock back and forth. 
And I want you to really think about making your spine as long as you possibly can here. So from the tailbone to the crown of your head, kind of really strengthening through, lengthening through your torso. It's another lengthening word, strengthening, lengthening. There. Lengthening through your torso. Out of the head away from the tailbone. If you guys all just logged off, I wouldn't blame you. Keep hugging the knees towards your chest. Good. And then you're going to go ahead and keep your right knee and you're going to let your left leg come long. Now, if you start to curl up off the mat here, then go ahead and bend that left knee and just create a little bit more space through the hips. But you're going to draw that right knee towards your sternum, so towards the midline of your body. And you might feel a little bit more stretch in the outer hip here. And keep flexing that left foot. Good. And then you're going to go ahead and pull that knee wide. So right, arm, right knee comes towards the right armpit, and you can pull down a little bit more here if you want. But again, never too aggressive. We're doing yoga to help ourselves. So if you're beating the crap out of yourself, it kind of defeats the purpose of this. Just saying. All right, you're going to go ahead and extend your right leg up to the sky. And you can press your left, right foot away and press your left foot away. So it's like you're standing on two walls. And if you want, you can interlace your fingers behind your hamstring. If you've got a little bit more range here, you can go all the way up to your calf or your foot. Um, I did a lot of lunges up a bridge today, so this is where I'm staying. I'm staying on the hamstring. But keep drawing that leg towards you. Keep pulling your belly button in. And remember that spine's nice and long here. And if you get a little tremble, that's perfect. That means we're engaging the muscles and getting them warm. Good. Go ahead and take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to curl your forehead up towards your knee. Yay, crunches. And then come all the way back down. Go ahead and hug that knee to your chest once more. Left knee is going to come up to meet the right. Good. So you might notice a difference between one side and the other. You might not. Just take note of what you feel. And then go ahead and let the right leg come long as you bring that left knee towards your sternum. Again, that midline of the body, right foot is flexed. And then shoulders back on the mat. Keep drawing that knee in. Long spine. And then that left knee comes towards the left armpit. Good. Pull it nice and wide. And then you're going to bring that knee back to center. You're going to push that left foot up towards the ceiling. Interlace those fingers behind the left leg, wherever you're reaching today. And keep pushing that foot up. Keep rolling those shoulders back onto the mat. Keep getting long. Movements of finding that length and creating space in your body. And take that big breath in. And as you exhale, curl the forehead up towards the left knee. Keep pressing your belly button towards your spine, really actively engaging your abs here. Good. And try not to use your arms too much for the pull. <laughs> I screwed your day up, didn't I? <laughs> Come all the way back down. Go ahead and hug that knee towards your chest. Go ahead and hug the other knee towards your chest. Good. And you can rock back and forth here. And then we're going to stop in the middle, and we're going to bring our knees together. And you can bring your arms out into cactus arms, or you can bring them out into a wide T-shape. Now you're slowly going to let your knees, as they stay together, come towards the right side of the mat, but don't let them touch the floor. Good. Now pull your abs in, pull the knees through center, bring them over to the left, and let them hover. Yep, more sneaky ab work. I'm a jerk like that. Back to center, pull the belly button in, over to the right. Back through center, over to the left. One more time, back through center, over to the right. Hover, 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 keep the face soft. Back through center, over to the left. Oh, oh. We're gonna come back through center and we're gonna come all the way over to the right. Now you can let your knees drop and just get a little bit of a twist here, which hopefully feels good. Come back to center again. And then let those knees drop over to the left. If you want to turn your gaze over your right shoulder, you can do that. Just realize when I turn my head towards the wall, you probably can't hear a damn word I say. So I'm going to turn back towards you. <laughs> Come on back to center. Good. Hug those knees. And then you can rock back and forth, eventually coming up to your hands and knees. Or if you really, really hate this, you can just come to your hands and knees. Good. So shoulders over elbows over wrists. We're coming to cat-cow. We've been doing this for the past few weeks. 
So we're pressing our hands flat into the mat and we're splaying our fingers. So your hands are wide like that, good. And then you're gonna have your hips above your knees and your ankles are directly behind your knees. As you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your seat bones, lift your chin, roll those shoulders back. That's your big inhale here. Good, so that's the cow. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone, push the mat away, bring your chin towards the chest so you look like an angry Halloween cat. There's your cat. Good, again, inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, push the mat away, push, 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 push. One more time, inhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, push the mat away. And then come back to neutral. You're gonna extend your right leg behind you and your left arm in front of you. So we're gonna get nice and long here. Good, big breath in. And then exhale, tuck your left elbow to your right knee. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, we're gonna bring our left arm out to the left, our right leg out to the right. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, tuck again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left arm to the left, right leg to the right. One more of each. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale to the side. Inhale, reach forward. Left hand comes down, right knee comes down. Let's do one cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, curl and push the mat away. Come back to neutral. So now we extend the left leg behind us. Extend the right arm before you. Get nice and big along here. Exhale, tuck. Right elbow, left knee. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left leg to the left, right arm to the right. Touch the wall if it's right there. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck. Elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach. Get long, long, long. Right hand comes down. Left knee comes down. Big inhale. Let the seat bones rise. Exhale, curl up here. Now you're going to stay in this arch. I want you to breathe. Come up onto your fingertips. And then walk those fingertips back by your knees. You're going to keep your hips above your knee and then push into as high an arch as you possibly can here with your chin against your chest. Feel that stretch behind the neck between the shoulder blades. Good, and then relax. Come back to neutral. Good, we're going to get a little bit of a stretch through the neck and shoulders here. I want you to inhale and sweep your right arm up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring that right arm underneath the left. Bring the right shoulder, the right temple, the right ear all the way down to the mat. Good. Now you can use this left hand here. You can push into it so you're not placing quite so much weight. If you feel fine and you want a little bit more, this left hand can come up. You can flip the palm over and bring the back of the left hand to the right hip. <coughs> Good. All right, if you've got that hand on your hip, you're gonna inhale the left arm up. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. And then as we all push into our left hand, we're gonna push ourselves up. Inhale the right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down to meet the left. I'm gonna turn, you guys can stay where you are. Opposite side, inhale that left arm up, up, up. Exhale, thread that left arm underneath the right, left shoulder, left temple, left ear down to the mat. Now, this might be enough. Remember, you've got that right hand to help support you so you don't put so much weight in. Or you can bring that right arm up, flip the hand over, back to the right hand on the left hip. So I'm giving you options so you can modify for where your body is today. Not what you did yesterday, not what you did last week, not what you think you should be doing, but what's feeling right for you today. Good, inhale that hand up. Right hand comes down. We're all gonna push into the right hand to lift our bodies up. Inhale the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. You're gonna walk your hands slightly forward. And I want you to bring your chin and chest down to the mat. So we're coming down chin and chest and knees. You're gonna slide all the way forward onto your belly. Good, hands are underneath the shoulders. Your forehead can be mat. I'm lifting mine so you could hear what I'm saying. Roll the shoulders back, and then as you press into the palms, inhaling, lifting the forehead, lifting the chest. Good, so the hips and the toes, everything's staying on the mat. And don't come all the way up and shrug into it. I'd rather have you come up not as far, but be active in it. 
Good. Come all the way down. Forehead's on the mat. Now you're going to bring your arms in a wide T shape, and we're on our fingertips again in Hasta Bandha. Roll the shoulders back. Feel the length of the neck. Press into your toes and hips, and then as you push into your hands, you're going to lift your forehead for a modified cobra. Now when you're lifting, you're thinking about your sternum, so that middle part of your chest that I keep referring to, that's going to be pushing forward. Like you were going to slither forward like a cobra on your belly. That's where it comes from, yo. All right, come all the way back down. Hands underneath the shoulders, roll the shoulders back. We're going to do this once more. Press up into cobra, see if it feels different from the first time you did it. Might not. Come all the way down. Go ahead and press to push up on your knees, curl the toes under, press back to down dog. So, assuming this is your first down dog today, you can walk it out. Assuming this is your first down dog ever, put your hands on the mat and it feels like everything is in your arms. I want you to walk your feet in a little bit closer. But we've got our hands and feet on the mat, we're lifting our hips, and we press into our hands so our heart moves towards our thighs. Obviously, they're not touching. It's not a forward folding bend that deep. Good. Now, I want everybody to bend your knees, lift your hips, and you're going to keep your left knee bent, but you're going to straighten your right leg. So you're going to push your right heel towards the mat. And I want you to bring that ankle center. So if it's going to the left or the right, bring it to the center. It just means your body's really smart and it's trying to get away from the tight parts. Good. Go ahead and bend both knees, lift the hips, and then drop the left heel down. Good. How are your shoulders doing? <laughs> Good. Go ahead and bend both knees, lift the hips, and then drop both heels down. And go ahead and shake your head. Yes. Shake it. No. Let the shoulders slide down the back. Oh, yes. Good. And then you're going to start to walk your feet forward towards your hands. And you'll feel yourself at a forward folding bent at the front of the mat while you listen to the garage door open because it sounds like my boyfriend's coming home right now. <laughs> Surprise! All right, go ahead and just hang here. Come out of your shoulders for a minute. If it feels good to grab opposite elbows and sway side to side, you can do that. If it feels good to paint the mat, if it feels good to stay still, what does your feel good look like? Do that. Good. And then you're going to keep your knees bent. I want you to sink the hips back and bring your arms up and forward, biceps by the ears. So we're doing sort of a modified chair pose. Usually chair pose, we have our feet together, but I want you to have your feet a little bit wider. Good. Biceps back by the ears, shoulders down the back. And then exhale, we're going to bow back down again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back to that down dog. Okay? Inhale your right leg up to the sky. I know, we're getting different. We're going a little crazy. Keep pushing your right heel away, and I don't want you to bring your right hip above your left. I want you to keep the hips square. Can you exhale and relax your left ankle a little bit? Good. Bring that right foot down. Come back to center. We're going to lift that left heel up to the sky. So remember, we're not popping the hip. We're keeping the hips square. Keep pressing your hands back. Exhale, relax that right ankle a little bit. Good. Right foot comes down. Excellent. You're going to peel forward into plank pose. And then you're going to push yourself back to down dog. Take a big breath in. Peel forward into plank pose. Exhale. Press the hips up and back to down dog. One more time. Inhale. Peel forward into plank pose. And then bring your knees down to the mat. All right, so we're going to play. You can come up for a second. I'm not that mean. But if you want to stay where you are, you can do that. We're going to play with some of the mechanics of Chaturanga. So if you've not done this before, um, I kind of want to guide you through this so you can start building up the strength of the right way to do it. You might think that you can never do it, but trust me, you can, because when I started, I couldn't do a push-up for the life of me. So let's kind of work our way into it. I'm going to face you so you can see, but we're on this plank on knees. And we're going to turn the eyes of our elbows forward. Yes, those are called eyes of your elbows. Good. And you're going to have your shoulders slightly forward of your wrists. And you're going to bend your elbow down 90 degrees only. So you're not going to drop your chest all the way down. You're just coming down 90 degrees only. Good. Push back up. If you need to readjust, take a second. And then we're in our plank. We're going to turn the eyes of the elbows forward. We're coming down 90 degrees. The elbows are kissing our ribs. 
Good, press back up. We're doing one more, yes. Come down 90 degrees, hold, hold. You have it, shoulders down the back. Come all the way down. Good, let's do one of those cobras. Inhale, press into the palms, lift the chest. Exhale, all the way down. <laughs> Good, press up, back to your knees. Press back to down dog. Take a big old breath in through the nose. Walk your feet forward. Forward folding bend, come out of your shoulders. Yay. It's always nice. Let the head shake. Now we're gonna reverse swan dive all the way up, 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 up. Hands meet at the top. So you can't see my hands from this angle. <coughs> your feet are gonna be about hips width distance and the top of the mat's gonna be the first third of the mat. So some of you might already know this, but I have to assume that there's people here who don't. So we're gonna be feet hips width distance and we're gonna get nice and grounded. So I want you to feel all four corners of your feet grounded on the mat. Shoulders are back. And when you inhale, you can feel your shoulder blades slide down the back as your sternum lifts. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Now your right hand is gonna grab your left wrist. So your arms are up overhead, and you're gonna pull yourself over to the right. So you're getting this big old stretch on the left hand side. Now try to keep the hips level. Try to keep the shoulders down the back. And then if you want a little bit more, you can rotate your right armpit towards the ceiling. If that feels like too much, just come out of it. If it feels like too much here, just come out of it. Good. Inhale up. Left hand grabs the right wrist. You're going to pull yourself over to the left. Excellent. So again, we're trying to stay grounding evenly through both feet. Option to rotate that armpit towards the ceiling. If your breath becomes ragged, just back out of it. Inhale back up to center. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna pull our arms back and open up our chest as if we were gonna try and touch our elbows together. Excellent, inhale, arms up. Exhale, you can pray down, you can swan dive down, however you wanna get there. Good, inhale, look forward. So we're looking forward with the flat back and you can have your fingertips on the mat or you can bring them to your shins. Um, if you, you can have fingertips on the mat with bent knees too, it's your choice. But I want you to inhale forward with the flat back however you're doing it. And then as you exhale, you're gonna step your right foot back, bring your right knee down to the mat, and we're gonna come up into a lunge. Good. So we're sinking our hips down, we're driving our left knee forward, and we're drawing in our lower belly. Now you can keep your hands on your hips, or you can have your arms up and overhead, it's your choice. And then hands come down, we're gonna step that right foot forward to meet the left, one, two, three, or 10 steps. Good, inhale, look forward. So that flat back, exhale, now step the left leg back, bring the left knee down, and then come up into the lunge. So your back toes can be curled under, or the foot can be flat. Curled under toes, usually, well, the stretch is nice, but it usually makes you feel like you've got a little bit more control of the situation you're in. Um, it's like buying too much toilet paper. <laughs> you know? So if that's what you gotta do, do it. Arms up and overhead, or you can bring the hands to the hips. In like 20 years, nobody's gonna know what this too much toilet paper thing means. Hands come down. Now we're gonna step that left foot forward. One, two, three, or 10 steps. Bring that left foot forward to meet the right. We're gonna inhale, long straight back. Exhale down. Reverse swan dive, up, 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 up. Hands meet. Exhale, close through heart center. Now we're gonna find chair pose again. You can keep your feet that hips width distance, or if you wanna bring your feet narrower together, it's your choice, but you're gonna bend your knees, and I want you to get nice and low and scrape the mat. So I can't hear you, but if you scrape the mat, I know you've gotten low enough. Arms up and overhead, keep sinking. So we're lifting our chest, we're not folding forward into it, we're lifting our chest. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Left elbow is gonna to go to the outside of the right knee, so we're gonna twist and we're pressing those palms together, and that's gonna help rotate our chest towards our thumbs. Now your left knee might be creeping forward a little bit, and it means you're starting to twist through the hips. If that's more comfortable for you, stay with it, but if it's not uncomfortable, try pulling the left hip back and keeping the hips level. Good. Inhale the arms up and overhead. I'm gonna turn, hands come to prayer, right elbow is gonna come to the outside of the left knee. Twist. Keep pressing those palms together. 
See if that right knee's creeping forward. Good, inhale the arms up and overhead. Exhale, we get to bow down. Come out of the quads. Ah, oh, good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the palms. Step all the way back to down dog. Okay? So press those hands flat into the mat. Keep pressing your chest back towards your thighs. And then peel forward into plank. So you can be high plank or plank on knees. If you want to challenge yourself, you can come up here. If you're just gassed out, come down to your knees. But you're going to pull your right knee towards your nose. Now your booty is going to be down. You're not bringing your booty up. Booty is down. Right knee towards your nose. Just reach, 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 reach. Keep press that heel back. Good. Step that right foot back. Opposite side. Left knee towards your nose. Good. So try not to lift the booty up. Try to stay low in a plank here. Just working on those hip flexors. Good. Step that foot back. Bring yourself back to down dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. Now you're going to step your right foot forward towards your right hand. If your foot comes here, as mine did when I first started taking yoga, you can grab that foot and pull it forward. It's a point where you're just not used to that range of motion. Your body's not there yet. Um, just don't pull so far forward that it's gone too far. You're going to turn your back left foot flat. So all four corners of the back foot are on the mat, and those toes are pointed slightly towards the front of the mat. So like at a 45 degree angle, we're going to come all the way up to standing. Fix your pants. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and do straight legs first. You're going to square off your hips and your shoulders with the short edge at the front of the mat. Shoulders down the back. Let's bring the hands to the hips. And I want you to bend your right knee. I'm going to walk mine in a little bit because I'm feeling those lunges. Pull the right knee, right hip back, left hip forward. Pull the belly in. Arms up and overhead. Shoulders down the back. This is warrior one. Now try not to roll into the inner edge of the back left foot. See if you can keep the outer edge of the foot on the mat. As you exhale, you're going to bring your right arm forward and your left arm back. I'm going to heel toe my front foot so now that my right heel is lining up with my left arch. And I've turned my back foot so it's now at a 90 degree angle. We're lining up our hips, our shoulders with the long edge of the mat now. Reach through the arms, shoulders down the back, keep sinking. I know the thigh is probably talking to you. Mine is. Left hand comes to the left thigh, right palm flips over, right arm up and overhead, keep reaching back, back, back. This is reverse warrior. Now we're not dumping weight into this left hand. See? No weight. It's just a guide. Come back up, warrior two. Right elbow, right knee. Now you're going to pull that right hip back and under you. You're going to turn your chest open. Left arm reaches forward, left bicep by the ear. So again, we're not dumping into this right arm. You can tell if your shoulder's up by your ear. There's some weight, but you're not dumping everything into it. You're not supporting yourself with it. Good, come back up, warrior two. I know, I know the leg is talking. Straighten the leg. Pull the right hip back, reach the right arm forward, so get long, 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 long. And then bring that hand down to your shin. You can bring it down to the floor. You can grab your big toe if you've got a block. You can bring it to your block. But I want you to reach your left arm up, keep extending the crown of your head away, and keep creating length on the right side of the body so you're not curling up. And if you notice that your chest is kind of dipping forward, walk your hand up your leg a little bit. It just means that you've gone too far today. Good. Both hands come down to the mat, step back, down dog. All right, you can stay where you are. I'm going to switch sides so you can see. Shaboom. Left foot steps forward. Remember, you can grab that left leg if you need to. Find that lunge. Turn that back foot flat. And then come up to standing. We'll start with the straight leg here, too. Square off the hips and shoulders. Good. Draw on the belly. Shoulders down the back. Hands on the hips as you bend that left knee. And then bring those arms up and overhead. Warrior one. So good and strong here. Keep pushing into that back foot. All four corners are on the mat. 
Big breath in. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. So again, I'm going to walk that left foot, and I'm going to adjust myself so it's easier to line up my hips and my shoulders with the long edge of the mat. Sinking into warrior two. Gaze over the front hand. Or look forward. All right, right hand comes to the right thigh. Left palm flips over. Reach over and back, back, back. Reversing the warrior. So you might want to straighten your leg here. Keep that knee bent and keep sinking into it. So it's not like, eh. You're like going for it. You want to feel strong here. Come back up, warrior two, left elbow, left thigh, pull that hip back in under you. Right arm reaches forward, right bicep by the right ear. Good. So keep pulling that hip under you. And you're gonna feel a lot more through your inner thigh maybe when you do that. Can you keep your face soft? Can you breathe? Can you keep your sense of humor? Good. Come back up, warrior two. Ah! Straighten the left leg, pull the left hip back, reach forward with the left arm. Left hand comes to that shin, the block, the floor, wherever you're reaching. You're trying to find that length on the left side as well as the right. And so instead of letting the chest dump forward, we're imagining that we're pressing our back against a wall behind us. And you can go ahead and curl both hands down, step back to down dog, your old friend. Remember how much you hated this posture at the beginning? Now it's probably your buddy. All right, I'm going to turn and <laughs> stay where you are. You're going to step your right foot forward. You're going to walk your hands towards the left side of the mat, so you're stopping with your feet parallel and your hands are in the middle of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips, inhale all the way up. So turn your heels in, toes out, and we're going to do Garudasana arms. So it's eagle pose, and we're just doing the arm portion of it. But bring your arms out wide, and then you're going to bring your right elbow under your left cross. Okay? Can you see it? <laughs> All right, so when you first do this, it might, you might be maybe more here like this. You might not have the same range of motion. Um, so if it doesn't wrap exactly like mine does, don't really worry about it. Just getting that crossing of the elbows and lifting your hands up in the direction of your face is a really great start. If you have tight shoulder, shoulder injuries, um, it just might prohibit movement. And if you're a guy, you're usually going to have less range of motion. Usually, not all the time. But we're here, we're going to squat. We're going to push our elbows forward and up, shoulders down the back. Good. So this horse pose with eagle arms. <laughs> Good, go ahead and straighten the legs, unravel the arms. We're going to do the opposite side now. So that left elbow is going to come underneath the right, and we're going to wrap. Now you might notice that one side's a little bit tighter than the other. One's going to be a little bit different, totally normal, totally natural. Don't try to force it to match the other one. Just kind of go with where your body is today. We're going to bend the knees. Push the elbows forward and up, shoulders down the back. Keep the belly sinking in. It feels good to bop or not. <laughs> it's up to you. We need music. I don't know if I'm allowed to use music, though. Good. You might not be able to hear me. That could be an issue. Straighten the legs. Reach the arms out nice and wide. Good. And then you're going to turn towards the front of the mat, and you're going to step back to down dog. Good. Let the shoulders come down the back. You can nod your head yes. Now we're going to step our left foot forward, walk towards the right side of the mat. Good. So we're stopping in the center, and we're finding our feet parallel again. Inhale, look forward. Bring the right hand to the middle. Bring your left hand to your sacrum, so to the tailbone here. And you're going to start to roll your left shoulder towards the ceiling, and that left hand is going to make sure that your hips are staying level. Good. And if they are, you're welcome to turn more into the twist. If you want to reach that left arm up towards the sky, you can do that. Or you can keep your gaze down, you can keep it forward, you can keep it up at the ceiling, wherever you are. But don't push yourself with that right arm into the twist. You're twisting through your torso. So you're twisting through the waist. Big breath in. Exhale, bring that hand down to the mat. Good. 
Inhale, looking forward, left hand comes to center, right hand comes to the tailbone. Start to roll the right shoulder open. And then you have that option, you can reach that right arm up. Gaze can be down, forward, or up at your right hand. And you're not pushing yourself in with that left hand. Good. Slowly bring that hand down. Inhale, look forward, big breath. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, pull yourself all the way up, up, up. Good. And you can heel toe your feet together. Yeah. Or you can jump. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Just do it safely and do it kindly. All right, so I want to do a little balance series with you guys. <clears throat> so I want you to ground, feel everything channeling into your left foot. And so like your left foot is like roots going into the ground. And you're going to go ahead and bend your right knee and bring your right knee towards your chest and just interlace your fingers. We're just going to start here. So you're going to gaze forward, find a spot on the floor, the wall, something that isn't moving. But keep the hips level so you're not popping the right hip up. Shoulders down the back, face soft. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release the right knee. Good, so we're going to transfer all that grounding energy into the right leg. Imagine roots growing out of your feet. And then you're going to bend that left knee, flex the left foot, and release your fingers around the left knee. It's the same thing. Shoulders are down the back. Face is soft. Find a spot to gaze at. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release. Left foot comes down. Give them a shake. We're going to keep going. So ground back into the left foot. Now we really want roots because we're going to come into tree pose. So you're going to come onto the ball with the right foot. Now you can keep your foot against your left ankle, that might be enough. Um, if you want to try a little bit more, we're going to bring our hands to the hips and just slide that right foot up your calf. If you want a little bit more, you can bring that right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Resist the urge to push onto that knee, though. You already do enough to them. So hands can stay on the hips. You can bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Or you can go full tree. I'm going palm tree today. Face is soft, and if you fall out of it, just take a deep breath, shake it off, and go back in. We all fall out of it. Big breath in. Exhale, come all the way down. Good. Shake it out. Energy comes into the right side. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Hands can be on the hips. Option to slide that left foot up the right calf. Option to slide the left foot up to the inside of the right thigh. Prayer. Full tree. This is always my side where my foot likes to slide down. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Come all the way down. Shake out. We're going to do one more here. So I'm going to turn so you guys can see. So grounding energy into the left leg. We're going to bring that right knee up before us like we did in the beginning. Now go ahead and keep your left hand on your right knee and bring your right hand to your right hip. And just roll the right shoulder back so you have a little bit of a twist here. And then you have the option of extending that arm behind you. You also have the option of turning your gaze back over the right hand. When you turn the gaze, it will mess with your balance. But just go with it. If you feel unsteady, that's what balance is. Balance is not steady, steady, steady. It wavers. Good gaze can come forward. Hand comes to the hip. Watch the teacher fall over. Hi. <laughs> Release the foot. Come back down. Shake it out. Opposite side. I do like that wall there, don't I? All right. Grounding energy into the right leg. Bring that left knee forward. Release your fingers around it. Flex the left foot. Good. Right hand stays on the left knee. Left hand comes to left hip. Stay here. Or turn your left shoulder open. Stay here. Or reach that left arm behind you. Really tall here. 
And then option to turn the gaze over the left shoulder. Just take a note of how you feel here. Steady. Bring the gaze forward. Left hand comes back around. Left foot comes down. Give it a shake. Yay! All right. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, you're going to dive all the way down. Now, depending upon where you are, I'm on the back of the mat, so I'm going to walk forward. But if you're at the front of the mat, you can walk the feet back. We're all going to meet in down dog. Good. And then we're going to start to peel ourselves forward into plank pose. Bring the knees down to the mat. And then you're going to slowly, slowly lower your chest. Slower. 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 Hover. You're not there yet. All right, chest on the mat. Good. All right, I'm going to move this stuff here. You're going to reach your arms nice and long before you, and your pinky side is going to be down. So your palms are going to be facing each other. You're going to bring your forehead to the mat. I'm going to lift mine for the purposes of being able to hear me. But you're going to inhale. You're going to lift the right arm and the left leg. And get really long here. You can turn your gaze forward so you lift your forehead up off the mat. Get a big breath in. Exhale, bring the hand down. Shake it out if it feels good. All right. So now you're going to extend the left arm up and long. Right leg reaches too. Good. So we're doing opposites here. Long, long, long. Big breath in. Exhale, come down. Shake it out if it feels good. All right. Fingertips on the mat. Shoulders down the back. You're going to take a big breath in, and you're going to lift both hands, both feet. So finding your length here, reaching. And so it's not so much about bending in the middle of the back. It's finding a nice long curve as you really lift your hands up, your shoulders up, and your feet up. Keep turning your inner thighs up so you're not rolling out from the outer thighs. Get a big breath in. Exhale, come all the way down. Shake it out. Bring your hands underneath shoulders. Press yourself up to the push-up on knees. You're going to bring your big toes together and you're going to bring yourself all the way back to sitting on your heels. Forehead comes to the mat in child's pose. Good. So if this gets a little bit intense, you can grab your towel and you can place a towel either underneath your knees. Another thing that helps is you can bring that towel behind your knees to just kind of lessen the crease. Just play with what you need here. If you've got time, good. And then go ahead and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press your torso up off of your thighs. You're going to drop your hips to either side. Extend the legs nice and long before you. Hashimotanasana. All right, so if you've got a strap, you can grab your strap. If you've got a towel, if you've got a hoodie, I don't know why you have a hoodie, it's 95 degrees out, but whatever. It can be really cold inside. But our legs are going to extend long. We're going to press our legs into the mat. We're going to sit nice and tall here. And then we're going to inhale our arms up. And then exhale, just bring your torso out and over as far as it goes with a straight back. Good. So just use this active range of motion here. Now, if you've got that towel or strap, you can wrap that around the balls of your feet to keep this nice length that you've created and gently guide yourself towards your toes. If you don't need the towel or the strap, you can just reach for your toes. But I don't want to see you curl in like this. I'd rather see you go not as far, but have the nice long back here. Extending the crown of your head, keep getting long, and then inhale the arms up, exhale let the hands come down, give it a shake. We're going to go ahead and bend our knees so the soles of the feet are on the mat and they're hips width apart. Our hands, we're going to turn our fingertips towards our feet and have them behind us. Again, I'm going to bring my heels closer to my glutes, and we're going to do reverse tabletop. So you're going to press into your hands and feet to lift your hips up. There's your tabletop. Then you can keep your chin on your chest, or you can let your head fall back. You can feel the hamstring cramp. 
from doing lunches and burpees on the bridge today. <laughs> Mamma mia. Gonna keep rolling the shoulders open. And then you're gonna lower your booty back down to the mat. Shake it up. Good. All right. You're gonna bring your Bend your right knee so you're bringing your right heel towards your body. And instead of having your left leg in front of you where you're lining up your sternum, I want it to be wide. So it's like a wide legged forward bend, but you bent your right knee. Good. Sitting tall, sternum. You're going to line it up with that left leg. Good. Inhale the arms up and overhead. And then exhale out and over. So again, if you've got that towel or that strap, you can wrap it around the ball of the left foot. Keep that nice long spine and then exhale out and over. But remember to keep rotating your body towards the left leg. It doesn't mean turning your head towards the left. It means rotating the right ribcage towards the left. It's a mouthful, huh? Good. Now, option, you can keep your left hand on your left foot, your left shin, and you can turn your chest forward and bring the right arm up and overhead. So you get a big old side stretch. Inhale, pull yourself up. Good, bring that hand down. To bring your hands behind you and extend that right leg long, give it a shake. Opposite side, so we bend that left foot in. Sitting tall, line up with the right leg. Arms up and overhead, get nice and long, and exhale out and over, 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 over. And you can grab the toe, the ankle, the shin with the foot, or you can wrap that strap or towel around the ball of your right foot. Keep moving the crown of the head towards the toes. Each exhale lets your nose come a little bit closer to your knee. And rotate the, red, the left rib cage towards the right leg. Good, now you can keep that hand, you can grab the right big toe or you can keep that hand on your right leg and sweep the left up and over as you turn your chest forward. And you'll see one side is going to be a little different than the other. Pretty, pretty normal. Inhale, pull yourself up. Bring that hand down. Go ahead and straighten that left leg. Give it a shake. You can shake them all back to the center. And you want to move up on your mat. And that when you lie all the way down, your head will land on the mat. Hook your hands underneath your knees. Roll down one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Good. So we're gonna do one bridge and one bridge pose only. So your feet are parallel and they're hips width apart. So your hips are like not this wide and when it hips width apart, which is about two fists, you're pulling your heels as close to your glutes as is suitable for your knees and you can bring your arms to your sides with the palms facing down. Start to press into your feet to lift the hips up off the mat. Good. So you might want to shimmy your shoulders under you a little bit more. You have the option of interlacing your fingers underneath you. You can keep your hands at your sides, but keep pressing the hips up. Keep the sensations if you were trying to drag your heels towards you, so you'll feel a good activation in your hamstrings. Good, keep your chin off your chest, so I know that you have a nice open airway. We don't have the dial 911 for this. Keep pulling the belly in. Good. Stay with me. Take a big breath in. You're going to bring your arms up and let them fall behind you as you exhale. And then start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow. Eventually the tailbone comes down to the mat. Good. And you can windshield wiper your legs left to right. Beautiful. And then you're going to go ahead and stop in the center. Hug your knees towards your chest. Let the left leg come long. We're going to bring our left hand to the outside of our right knee. And we're going to start to guide that right knee over to the left. And you can reach that right arm out long to the side. And you can turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Now if your shoulder's coming up off the mat, that's fine. Just as long as it doesn't hurt. If it's painful, you need to back off the twist a little bit. 
If things are painful or if they go numb, numb isn't good either. Slowly come back onto your back. You're going to bring your right knee to your chest. Bring your left knee to the chest. Let your right leg come along. Good. Right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Start to guide that left knee over towards the right side of the mat, turning that gaze over the left shoulder. And try not to be forceful here. Slowly let that knee come back to center. Let the right knee come up to meet it. Give yourself a little hug if you want to rock and roll back and forth. Let's do a happy baby pose. So I'll turn so you guys can see. Knees are bent. Right hand comes to the inside of the right leg, grabs the outside of the right foot. Left hand comes to the inside left leg, grabs the outside of the left foot. Bend the knees, and you're pulling the knees down towards you. Now, if you start to curl up off the mat, you want to back off a little bit, you might need to bring your feet together a little bit. You might not be ankle above your knee quite the same way. You want to be able to relax those shoulders back though. And if this is just not happening for you and you're like, this sucks, just hug your knees to your chest, you'll be fine. And then one last little hug. Go ahead and curl your forehead up towards your knees. You're going to crunch everything to a tight little ball. So you're going to clench your fist. You're going to squeeze your face. You're going to get all this last little bit of energy out. And then as you exhale, you're going to come all the way down. Let your legs slide long down the mat, arms at your sides. Rock your head side to side if you want. Good. And staying here, I'm going to sit up. Um, if you have a towel or blanket that you want to cover yourself in, if you have something that you want to put over your eyes, take that moment to do that. I'm going to tuck you into Shavasana. So eyes are closed. Finding a comfortable position. Good. So with each exhale, you're going to relax another part of your body. So as you exhale, you feel the space between the eyes smooth out. The eyes get heavy. Exhale again. Feel the muscles of the jaw release. And exhale again. Feel the shoulders get heavy. Feel the arms get heavy. And exhale again, and you feel any constriction in your chest melt away, allowing your heart to beat softly and contentedly. Exhale again, and any tension in your belly dissolves. And exhale again, and you feel your hip flexors and your glutes release. And your thighs get heavy, your knees soften. Exhale and feel your calves melt into puddles in the mat beneath you. Exhale again. Ankle soften. The skin over the tops of your feet relaxes. that soothing relaxation move through your heels, through your soles, your feet, and finally out your toes as you drop into your final and deepest rest.
Well, you can stay here for as long as you like. If you'd like to come out of Shavasana with me, start to come back into your breath. Start to come back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, you can reach your arms up and overhead. Get that first thing in the morning stretch. And then roll onto your side, whatever side you prefer. Bend your knees, rest your head on your arm like a pillow. Just take a quiet moment before you move on. Slowly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position, sitting tall, eyes closed. Hands can be on your knees, in your lap, or at your heart center in prayer. Taking a moment to thank ourselves for this hour of self-care. Thanking ourselves for putting us first for just a moment. All of us who take care of everybody all the time, we need to refill our cup. It's trite, but it's true. And so having this moment of gratitude, go ahead and lower your head to your heart, acknowledging its wisdom. And then slowly lift the chin. Slowly lift the sides of the mouth into my favorite posture of all, the smile. Blink the eyes open. Thank you all so much for letting me guide your practice tonight, for joining me, for getting me off the couch and moving. Um, it is an honor, it is a privilege. The love and light me always honors and recognizes the love and light me. Namaste. Thank you. If you have any questions, if you have any special requests, feel free to put it here. Feel free to message me, feel free to text me if you've got my number. Go forth and be awesome.